In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get complete macOS Sequoia look on your Windows PC, which looks extremely cool. And we will be starting with the macOS dock. And now pause the video and go to this exact link, which I will also put in the video description down below. And once on this page, this is basically start all back application, which will act as our start menu or taskbar replacement. And we look like the macOS dock. Now, once on here, click on download button on on this page and you will get the exe file now click on the exe file to install it and once on the installation manager click on install for everyone and here i will click yes on the admin prompt now you should see some flicker on your screen and after that the start all back should be configured properly now what's on the first page here click on proper 11 and then immediately navigate to the taskbar section of this application now once here make sure that the visual style is here set to the default. Now for the icon size, I will put this to the L and for the icon margins as well to the L. Now at the bottom, make sure that you centered task icons, select the segments here as well, and make sure that you also enable dynamic transparency. Now with that said, here under the segments, make sure that you put just the central segment, so we will only have this kinda look of the dock. Now make sure that you go to the advanced section here as well, and enable use custom start menu coloring, as well as use custom taskbar coloring and from here you will just change this teardrop to the clear as well as on the taskbar as well just like this and now we have this nice look of our taskbar as well as of the start menu which look kind of transparent which i really really like now we can move forward for the widgets now open your web browser and go to the rainmeter.net website which i will also put a link for in the video description down below by the way now once on the page click on the download button to get the installer for the rain meter and don't install it right now because we will right now download a few of the widgets the first one is called monterey rain meter and click on the first page it should be on the github.com and then navigate here to the releases and down below click on the .rm skin file. And now you can also open the new tab and search for the drop top 4, which will act as the menu bar at the top of our screen on the Mac OS. So just search for the drop top 4 and you can go to their website right here and click on download here and now you can just click on get drop top 4 if you want you can also pay for more premium version but i think that the free one will do just as well so here click on save to get the .rm skin file before we actually install the widgets and the rain meter i highly suggest to you guys that you actually apply the sequoia macOS sequoia wallpaper so on this page or on your new tab just search for the sequoia wallpaper and go to the first page by basicappleguy.com and once here you can just scroll down and pick whichever version you prefer i prefer the light one so i will click on the light link and once here you can save this exact image by right clicking here and then select here save image as and then just click save on this prompt here now you can minimize your browser window and if you guys are enjoying the content so far make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you of course haven't already now navigate to your file explorer go to your downloads folder and once here you have here sequoia light wallpaper here right click on it and make sure that you select here set as desktop background and right now your wallpaper should immediately change and you will have this kind of look and i think that the dock which we have currently with this transparent effect really looks kind of nice as well as the start menu here as well really has this really nice transparent effect at the background now navigate to your file explorer once again and first before installing any of the widgets first install the rain meter double left click on it click on ok here then click on next on the installer click next once here and click yes on the admin prompt here make sure that you have checked run rain meter and click on finish 
Now, if you have some widgets already pre-installed on your desktop, then you can just right click on one of them and click here, remove a widget. Now, as you can see, we don't have the Raymeter system tray icon at the bottom right. So to fix that, make sure that you maximize one of the windows, in this case, my browser. And here you'll have this arrow and here you will see the rain meter icon here as well. So let's open it like so. Now let's install a few of the widgets. Let's navigate back to our downloads folder. And first let's install the drop top basic version, which will act as I said before, as our menu bar at the top of our screen. So here, this is basically the installer of the rain meter widgets and here click on the install. And now just follow the installation instructions of the drop top four. It's quite easy to do so as well. Just pick your language here. Here I will select desktop only to show the menu bar. Now I will select here desktop as my device. And for the weather location, I will input here London as my city. Click continue here. Then I will select this Apple logo. And for the size, you can pick whatever you like. I will just select here the standard one and click continue. For the starting theme, I will select here macOS Ventura and then select here maybe later and click on finish the setup and after that you should see your brand new menu bar appear on the top of your screen and here are some of the additional tweaks we can which you can also apply to the start menu which will then look a bit nicer so make sure that you navigate at the left on your Apple icon and then you can go here to the options. Down below make sure that you navigate under the shape and what I recommend here that you enable rounded top bar corners and that is pretty much it. If you want you can also enable divide bar into sections and if I enable that but if you don't want that you can just disable this feature but in this way I think it looks kind of nice as well. Let's move forward by installing the next skin which is called the Monterey a rain meter skin so this one will act as our widgets from the mac os sonoma i believe so here just click on the install and here the setting window should appear just go under the appearance and make sure that you change the theme to the blur theme like so and then after that go to the widget section here and here you will basically enable whichever widget you will like to have on your desktop here i will enable clock calendar, weather, notes, and for example, reminders as well, just like so. Click on the X on the settings and let's put them somewhere here. Now, first I will put my clock widget somewhere here, like so. Then I will add next to that the calendar widget like so. Then I will change the size of the weather widget to the wide one and put it somewhere here. And of course you can right click on it, click on edit weather and change the city right here. I will change that to the London as well. And then I will put the reminders widget somewhere here at the bottom as well as the notes here as well. And I think that overall right now it looks already quite nice, but we can already also enhance this look further as well. So what I recommend is that you open open your web browser or just pause the video right now and go to this video description down below and search for top notify and go to the github.com or if you like you can also install this application from the microsoft store as well not only from the github so this is one thing which you can also do now here on this page you can click on top notify and it should end the file should end with the dot msx so this is basically the file and click on save and now we can just click on it to install it. And here on this page, just click on the install. So why are we installing this application? Because the macOS also has the notifications at the top. And we would also like to mimic that on our Windows operating system as well. So if you don't see the system tray icon once again, just maximize one of the windows and then navigate to your system tray icon and just click on top notify and once here you can for example click here spawn test notification and here you'll see how the notification will appear i don't like how it looks right now because it overlaps with the menu bar so what i will do i will click on custom here and then here we have set of the instructions how you can do that so basically just put the notification wherever you would like to appear something like here and then just click on the escape key on your keyboard 
And after that, if you click on spawn test notification, here it should be. It doesn't overlap anymore with our menu bar. So if you want, you can also enable here notification transparency. I will put it somewhere here. And this is pretty much it for our notifications. And now let's change the cursor as well. So let's open your web browser or just as I said before, just pause the video and go to this video description for all the links, of course. And if you guys are, of course, enjoying the content so far, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Now, once here, search for the macOS cursor and go to this first link, which is github.com. Go to the releases here and just click here on the source code.zip file. Click on save and then navigate to your downloads folder like so, and then click on the extract all, then navigate inside this folder. And here we have two options, El Capitan and before, or Sierra and newer. If you want a newer cursor, then I highly suggest that you select this first option, Sierra and newer. So click on that. I will select here with no shadow, and I will just select here normal size. Now inside this folder, you will find this file, which is called install. You will right click on it and then you will click here on the install like so. And then you can just click on open here. And right now, just click on yes on the admin prompt. And right now you should have a brand new cursor. If you have some issues installing this exact cursor, you guys can just manually install it by navigating to your start menu, search for the mouse and select here mouse settings. Then down below, you will select here additional mouse settings. And here you will see pointers. Now once here, you will basically change the every single pointer, which you see right here to the ones installed inside this exact folder, which we got from the GitHub. So how you can do that is basically select the normal one, click on browse here, then you will navigate to your downloads folder. If you go, for example, this PC, local disk C, you will navigate to your user, and this is the user tech enthusiast and then navigate to your downloads folder. And here we have macOS cursors. So here select Sierra or newer, click on no shadow, normal size and click on the normal like so and click on open. And here you should also see a change. And now you will basically repeat the process for every single other cursor. Just select the different one um, right here. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Now we have a brand new cursor as well as widgets on our desktop menu bar at the top and the dock at the bottom and the notifications also appear at the top right corner just like on the mac os if i maximize the window the taskbar goes to the full width and we have hidden the menu bar at the top which i quite like as well so with that said this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to smash up the like button subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and i will leave every single link in the video description down below so with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in the next one